In this demo app, we have horizontally scrollable cards. And each of these cards has a picture and some text. You can put anything really in these cards. And in this video, I'll show you just how to set this up. This is the Flutter coach, and without further ado, let's dive in. Before we start coding, let's have a quick look at what we shall be setting up in this app. The basic structure of the app is this. We have a column widget whose children are this line of text, some sized boxes for spacing, and this list view widget. And inside this list view widget, we have our cards, each with a picture and some text. Let's now go to the coding. We shall be doing our coding in Visual Studio Code. This is the default app that gets created when you start a new Flutter project. I've gone ahead and removed the comments in this app. I've also changed the title of this app to Demo App, and I've added this folder, which I have titled Images, and inside this folder, I have put five images that I got from Unsplash. The other thing I did was I came to this pubspec.tml file and put in this assets line with a reference to the images folder so that we can use those images in our app. So let's go to our main dot file and inside the body, the first thing we'll do is add the column widget. Next, we'll add the children property. And the first child we'll add in this app is a sized box to give us space between the top of the app and the title, which will be mountain pictures. We'll give it a height of 30 pixels. The next child we'll add in this column is the title, and we shall put that in as a text widget. And the title is mountain pictures. Now I'd like to make this title bigger than the default font size so that we can be able to differentiate it from the text in the cards. So we'll go ahead and through the style property, we shall give it a font size of 20. The third child we shall add in this column is a sized box to give us separation between the title and the list view widget. We'll give it a height of 40 pixels. The next item in this column is the list view widget. Now, since we're going to have a horizontal list view, we need to define its vertical height since it's inside a column. If we do not give it a parent that limits its vertical height, then we will have errors because it won't have a limit on the vertical extent it should take. So we shall wrap it inside a sized box and we'll give this sized box a height of 140. So now the child of this sized box will be our list view widget. This is the basic structure of our app. Let's save this, build it and see what it looks like. So save that does our formatting for us then let's go ahead and build this our app has been built you can see that we have this space above the title given by our size box we have the title and below it we cannot see anything because we do not have anything in our list view yet that's the next thing let's go add cards into our list view back in the editor let's get rid of this inspector tab we don't need that for now let's go to this list view widget and the first thing we will define in this widget is the scroll direction. If you hold down control and space, you can see all the properties of the list view widget that we can manipulate. And the property we want to change in this case or define is scroll direction. And this property, if you hover over the word, takes an axis and we shall give it the horizontal axis as the input. Axis dot horizontal. The next thing will be to add children to this list view. First, we shall put in a single card and then copy paste that. So let's start with our first card. And the child of this card will be a container, which will now hold our image and our text. The first property of this container that we will change is the margin property. And this will make sure that the contents of the container don't go right up to the edges of the container. We want to leave some space between the contents of the container and the edges of the container. So we shall give it a margin of 15 pixels all around. Now inside this container, we shall put in a column and this column will have the image, a sized box to separate the image and the text below. And then we shall put, of course, now the text. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Now in this column, we want our children to be at the center. So that means we need to define the main axis alignment and the cross axis alignment. Let's go ahead and center both of those. And then now let's go ahead and add the children. The first child of this column will be the image. And so we shall put this image inside a sized box with a defined height and width. Let's give it a height of 70 and a width of 110. And finally a child, which is the image. So we'll go with image.asset since we already have the images in our images folder. So child will be image.asset. So we'll go ahead and define the path to this image so that it can fetch the image from this folder. So right click, we copy put in the quotation marks and paste. So we'll get rid of this demo app. And this is now the path to our image, our first image. Just to make our formatting neat, let's add that comma and commas after all the brackets so that when we save, we maintain this nice formatting that we have. So we save that, add a comma there and another one and another one. We go ahead and save. And now we have our card. The next child in this column will be a sized box to separate this image and the text below it. So let's put in this sized box and give it a height of 10 and save. And finally, let's put in the text, which is the description or the caption of this image. And the caption for this particular image is flow. Let's save this and reload and see what it looks like. And here is our app. We have our card with the image and the text. Let's go ahead and copy paste four more cards into this list view, change the paths to the images and the text as well, and see what we come up with. So we'll go ahead and copy this card and paste it four times. And now we'll go ahead and change each of the references to the images as well as the descriptive text. And now we have our five cards. Let's rebuild this and see what happens. And here is our app. We have our five cards with our images and the text. And that is how you build horizontally scrollable cards. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I will be sure to help you out. If you have any other kinds of comments as well, leave them in the comments below. And if you have found value in this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to this channel with the notifications turned on so that you can be notified each time I post a new video. This has been the Flutter Coach and I will see you in the next one.